कैसे वेलकम टू द जर्नी प्लस फोर I yearn for freedom from some of my earliest moments. They said freedom can be dangerous and can consume you. Even so, I always wanted to be free. This feelings of wanting something new, something exciting, gradually built up momentum within me till here and now. when i'm gearing up as a budding adventurer i am determined to pack my life savings and grow old together with my chubby wolves i journey started on 8th of september visiting anurag upreeti an old and good friend of my husband we reached anurag's home in the evening and i felt a little awkward anurag and i talked about law and my bygone life as a student of law while my husband was busy with his toy called a camera and anurag's family the next day we were to go out and roam So after taking a bath I sat on a tool and talked with Anurag's mother We went out for the trip to Rhino Resort there after Accompanying us on this journey were two of Anurag's friends named Saurav and Vijay Sara was quite energetic and wouldn't stop talking. While Vijay was quiet, I guess it quite balanced the environment during the trip. On the course of the journey, I met a wilting purple passion flower that made me really happy. From Rhino Resort, we went to this place that is ironically called Island by the People. Saurav was very excited to have a session with me. He would ask again and again for a tarot session, and I gave him a tarot session. on island it was all together a different feeling even though i was tired the last day had arrived and we were set to travel to a destination locally known as the crossland I was mesmerized and lost in the beauty of the grassland. The streams, the mountains, the stars, the moon. Everything was so perfect. The lights flickering on the hills, looming in the horizon, were so fascinating to me. I couldn't help but to fantasize. climbing and reaching those tiny rows of light we stayed there and everyone sang songs after leaving grassland we went for a tea party at sorab's house His parents were quite open-minded people. 
I really enjoyed the company. We had a terrace session with the family. I was quiet. Overwhelming emotions rushed through my veins. That last day was indeed the best of all. Here we came to the end of the journey. Life's peculiar. It has its own way to make one learn its lessons. It's surprising how much an opposing perspective and what it entails can shake you up. Nonetheless, change is constant. Every individual undergoes constant change, a journey throughout their life. What we call our spiritual self undergoes the same change, but it does not necessarily have to be supernatural. Our spiritual journey could come from things seemingly more mundane. The rising moon, a flowing river, fire set up to cook food. The spiritual journey of mine, I'm undergoing in the form of adventure. Those little hikes taught me more about myself and the world around me. After all, is experiencing the vast and wonderful world, not how our forefathers began everything. Science, spirituality, philosophy, and fulfillment. <laughs>